camera or your microphone. We can't see you or hear you, but we're super excited that you're here tonight. My name is Katie Swank, and I'm one of the band teachers here at Wanakee Intermediate School. Nice to meet you. And my name is Elizabeth Zinger, and welcome. I'm the other band teacher here at Wanakee Intermediate. We're so happy you're here. Little overview of our webinar for tonight. We'll do some uh, music class overview about what class looks like during the school year. And we pulled together some amazing beginning band students that we're currently teaching to give you a special instrument demonstration. We're gonna give some tips and tricks on how to select an instrument. And we'll have some more information about acquiring an instrument after that selection process has been com completed. We also explore summer lessons, which is a really cool part of being in our district is um, having that availability of the summer lessons. We'll discuss briefly what band looks like in the fall. And then of course, if you have any questions at all during this webinar, there's a Q&A button down below that you can push and um, type in some of your questions. Uh, we won't answer all questions right away. The majority of the questions we will save, um, especially if they're very band specific, we'll save them at the end of the webinar. So let's jump in and let's get started tonight. So a lot of you have seen in your inboxes um, on this mon Monday morning, March 15th, we sent out a special music class selection form. So all students entering sixth grade must select one music class to take. The options are band, choir, orchestra, or general music. These music classes, they meet every other day. So for example, if you have band one day, you'll have the opposite class the next day, then band the following day, then the opposite class the next day, and so on and so, so forth. Band and orchestra are very unique and that we have um, small group lessons that the students are able to come to on a six day rotation cycle. So your student might have their band lesson every day one or every day two or every day three. It's possible for your student to take a combination of performing classes like band and choir, choir and orchestra or band and orchestra, but there is a loss of academic time. So if you are interested in thinking that your student is super into music and they would love to pursue more than one music class, please contact us. Music class selection form is due by tomorrow, Friday, March 19th. And we hope just by coming tonight to this webinar and getting more information about band that you feel more confident and comfortable filling out that selection form. Um, but once again, if you have any specific questions about the selection form, please reach out, especially about the double classes, and we would love to help you with those questions. So we have a special group of students, like I said, they are a current class that we are teaching, and they are going to share with you the different instruments that you can play in our band. So let's explore what they are. Hi, my name is Luke, and I think you should join band and play the flute. I am going to play the song William Tell to show you what my instrument sounds like. <laughs> My name is Brooklyn, and I think you should join band and play the clarinet. I'm going to play the song Rolling Along to show you what my instrument sounds like. So here we go. and I hope you want to play it. Hi, my name is Alina. I think you should join band and play the saxophone. To show you what my instrument sounds like, I'm going to be playing the song Doodle All Day. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Barocco, and I think you should join the band and play the trumpet. I am going to play the song Hot Cross Buns to show you what my instrument sounds like. trumpet is a very unique instrument. It has a lot of air that you need to be putting into the instrument. And that's kind of a tutorial on why you should join bands. So, thank you for watching. Hi, my name is Owen, and I'm going to show you the trombone today. Personally, I think you should play it when you get in band, because you can play low notes, like this. We can also play high notes, like this. Which I think is really cool for an instrument. But I'm gonna play Mozart Melody. You might recognize it from a different song that you know for sure. Here goes nothing. So that's a trombone. Uh, I hope you have a great day, and I hope you play trombone next year. Hi, my name's Henry, and I think you should join band to play the baritone. Here it is. I'm going to show you the song Jingle Bells to show you what, kind of what my instrument sounds like. I'm going to use these three knobs to show you what it sounds like, and I'm going to blow into this mouthpiece. Here we go. Jingle Bells. I hope you choose to play the Baritone. Bye for now. Hi, fifth graders. Um, My name is Owen Murphy, and I think you should join band and play the percussion. I'm going to play the song Astronomia to show you what my instrument sounds like. Also, you might know this song as the Coffin Dance. So as you can see from that demonstration video, the instruments that your student can choose to play in the Wanakee Intermediate Hi, whoops, the Wanakee Intermediate School Beginning Band in the Woodwind family are flute, clarinet, or alto saxophone. In the brass family, we have trumpet, trombone, and baritone. We also have percussion. And as you can see, we start our percussionists on mallets. And we do do drum work as well, but you are a percussionist, not just a drummer, so you have to learn them all. All the other instruments that are in the band that you see when you see a marching band or a concert band, we grow into those as the year progresses. Thanks, Mrs. Zinger. So after learning about the instruments and signing up for band as part of that music class selection form, the next part in the process and I think it's most, one of the most important parts of the process is called the mouthpiece fitting.
So after you sign up, you'll set, um, we'll send you information about how you sign up for a mouthpiece fitting. We schedule students who have signed up on that instrument class selection, or sorry, music class selection form. So mouthpiece fitting, why is it important? It's like finding a new pair of shoes, right? You go shopping, you don't buy the first pair of shoes that you try on. Instruments are the same way. Not all instruments fit us in the same way. Some of us have different shapes and sizes of our lips and our teeth and our arms and a bunch of different factors. And that mouthpiece fitting process helps us find an instrument or two that if your child starts off on that instrument, they're gonna have the most success on. So just remember, everyone is different and will have different fittings and um, different instruments that they will fit better with. So this important fitting process will start after spring break. And we're currently working really diligently with our district administration to schedule an outdoor in-person mouthpiece fit fitting. And the tentative date for that is Wednesday, March 31st here at Wanakee Intermediate School. We will also have virtual fittings available for families who prefer the virtual as an option or those who cannot make it to that in-person date. So we will send a sign up genius for all mouthpiece fitting schedules. So once you sign up for band, just be checking your inboxes for um, a sign up genius. And just remember, on the day of the mouthpiece fitting, students do not have to decide on what instrument they wanna play that particular day. So we do give you lots of time to think about which one really fits the best. After the fittings are completed, we're gonna send you another form to fill out that will ask you to finalize your instrument choice. And if you need to, if you have more questions for us or if your student is unsure of which instrument they really wanna play, you can always schedule a conference with me, Mrs. Swank, or Mrs. Zinger, and we are more than happy to meet with you and walk you through the process. And another important thing that you're gonna see on the form is a summer school lesson time preference. So we're gonna use your input for summer school lessons, and that will help us form our lesson schedule. So now that you've decided on your instrument, how are you gonna get one? Well, we highly recommend that you rent an instrument. And I mean rent because that first year will tell us a lot about if we got it all right with your selection. And if you're renting it, it's not hard to switch out one instrument for another, to try something else if it's not working. That process is really easy to interchange. So at least for the first year, while your um, student is trying to see do they really like it, we highly recommend that you rent it. If you do want to buy an instrument, we ask that maybe you check with Mrs. Swank and I because we'll be able to tell you if you're getting a, um, a good instrument for your beginner to start on. That first experience on an instrument is so important and sometimes inexpensive instruments have inexpensive parts which make it harder to make a good sound where a quality instrument is easier to make a good sound at first, which helps set up the success of your student. We don't mind helping you think through that process if you really do want to buy an instrument, so just reach out to us through email. If you do have an instrument in your family that you want to pass on down and that was a good fit for your student, please make an arrangement to get it to a shop to make sure that it gets checked out before we start summer band. It's like having a basketball that's flat and doesn't bounce. You bring it to practice, it's not gonna work. It's the same with any instrument. So you wanna make sure that it is in tip top shape so your beginner has the easiest chance of being super successful in our class. There are two exceptions to this rent from a shop. Okay, we have baritones. Baritones, as you saw, are rather large. So because of the size and the actual cost of renting that instrument, the school, Wanaki Intermediate School, has its own kind of set of baritones. So if that is an instrument you're interested in using, you'll rent from us here at school, and the cost for that is $100 per year. The second exception is percussion. You'll need to rent a percussion kit that you will keep at your house so that there is something to practice at home but here at school, you'll use school instruments. So just like the baritone, since you're using school instruments, there is a rental fee for that, and it's $50 for the year. So how do we acquire an instrument? 
you're free to go wherever you want to get an instrument. However, Wanakee schools do business with Ward Brought because of the services that they provide. So we have a very special person here tonight. And let's see if we can pull him in. His name is Rob Smith, and he's our sales rep from Ward Brought Music. So Rob's here tonight, everyone, to kind of talk through some of um, the, the rental information for you. And um, so hopefully he'll be joining us pretty shortly. I can tell you just from working with Rob, he is terrific. He is amazing. And he does such great things for our school here in Wanakee. So our school's in really good hands with Rob. Aha, and there he is. All right, can you hear me? I'm here. All right, Rob Smith here. Uh, happy to be here tonight. Uh, uh, thank you so much uh, um, to uh, Mrs. Swank and uh, Mrs. Singer for having me here tonight. Happy to be here talking a little bit about how we can help you get an instrument. Uh, at War Brown, we really have three ways to do that. And the most popular one and the one that most people choose right away is the rental that we talked about. The rental rates that you see on the screen right now our monthly rates, they include our maintenance and repair. Should anything happen to the instrument while it's in your possession, we repair it at no extra cost. We also provide free loaners and make exchanges right at the school so you don't have to worry about anything. And it's very important because it's a lot easier to learn on, on an instrument that's working. So if we have a good quality working instrument in their hands, that's the most important thing. And that's what we try to do at Warbrod. So we make sure that uh, if something's not working, we bring another one out there to the school and pick that other one up. So we make sure that uh, um, you have a good working instrument uh, in your hands. It's very easy to do. You can go right to our website at warbrod.com, click on the rent now button and follow the directions. And uh, you can rent the instrument uh, in just a few minutes right online. The nice thing is, is that uh, I will deliver that instrument right out to the school and everything that goes with it, the accessories and everything that are needed. Um, we'll get to that in just a little bit. Uh, the next part of, uh, we actually have two more ways to help you get an instrument. Um, and uh, the first one is we, we also do sell brand new instruments. One idea about buying a new instrument uh, to protect you from worrying if it's not the right instrument or anything like that, we, we offer what's called the guaranteed buyback program. And it means anytime within the next two years after you purchase that instrument from us, should it not work out, we guarantee we'll buy that back. We'll buy it back for the amount you paid for it, minus what you would have paid had you had the instrument about 4% each month. So it allows you to own your own instrument, but if it doesn't work out, you're not stuck with it. You don't have to sell it at a garage sale later or Brad will take that back and uh, find a nice home for it. Um, the third choice is um, new this year on our website. And uh, as you're poking around our Warbrot website, um, we have something now called the Used Instrument Marketplace. And we've only had it for a couple months now, um, but it's been very exciting. And uh, it allows you to look at, a, at our used instrument stock. So you get an idea of what's available and what we can buy. Nice thing about a used instrument from Warbrot, they're an instrument that we've solely been in charge of. We've been through our repair shop, it's all set ready to go. And the best part is it's about half price of a new one. And so we uh, give you a good quality instrument that's only a few years old, but still has lots of good playing in it. You know, these quality instruments that we sell at Warbrod and rent at Warbrod will last you about 50 years if taken care of properly. So that's a nice thing that you can rest assured of. Uh, so um, anyway, those are the three ways that we have. I don't know if we have the other screen. Yes, the accessory. Um, there's a couple ways to get these accessories. If you have your own instrument, um, we have a separate page uh, on our website uh, that you go to the rental page and just select uh, um, so school supplies only. And if you need the school supply list, you can pick Wanakee, sixth grade band, and this will pop right up and you can just add the accessories right to the cart. And again, everything will get delivered by me to the school. Um, if you're renting an instrument from Warbrot, when you're renting an instrument, all these supplies will prompt as well. And you can just click on them and add them to the list as well. If you're, if you're interested in buying either the new or the used instrument, 
again, just go to the uh, school supply list and add those as well. And so then we make sure we have everything we need uh, when it's going out there. Uh, my contact information is on the bottom of the page. Um, and uh, um, we can make sure that uh, um, if you have any questions, you can feel free to email me, call me, or uh, contact me in any way that's convenient for you. I'm out to the school every week, so um, you don't have to worry about coming into the store, but you're certainly welcome. Um, ever since uh, uh, last year, when about this time when COVID came in, uh, we've backed off our hours a little bit, but we're still open uh, noon to five, um, Monday through Saturday. So thank you. Thank you, Rob. We sure appreciate you being here tonight. And everybody, once again, he is terrific. Our partnership with Ward Brought is amazing. Being able to, uh, once again, deliver, drop off instruments, drop off supplies right on our doorstep here at Wanakee Intermediate School. It is simply amazing. All right. So once you acquire your, pick your instrument and you acquire your instrument, the next step in the process is summer band lessons. Um, I am serving this year as the summer band coordinator for sixth grade band. So definitely if you have any questions about this um, signing up for summer school band, please email me and I will assist you with any needs that you may have or questions. So summer band, it's not required to be in band in the fall, but it's highly encouraged. Summer band is six weeks. This year, it's Monday, June 21st to Thursday, July 29th. There are two lessons per week in a normal sum summer school schedule that your child would have lessons, either on a Monday, Wednesday, or a Tuesday, Thursday. Summer school online registration, so a date to put in your calendar, opens up on Tuesday, April 13th at six o'clock p.m. for the intermediate school classes. So let's dive a little bit more into the summer band lessons. So how do, what, uh, how do they work, right? How are they scheduled? I know a lot of you must have questions about that already. So summer, uh, during summer school, students are pulled from either the first or the second half of morning classes. So in a normal summer school block schedule, there's these three morning class periods and there's 70 minutes each. So we divide that 70 minutes in half, the band lessons are 35 minutes. Lessons can be taken after the other class times if transportation is available. So we do have a sort of fourth hour block that um, happens after that third class period is done, but this special fourth hour block is only for students who have the transportation home. So who are not relying on the bus to get home. Um, students who are interested in summer band lessons, they don't have to take other summer school classes. So you could just register just to take summer band lessons and nothing else. And that's perfectly acceptable. However, if you are relying on busing for transportation, you need to make sure that your child has a full summer school schedule. So once again, if you're relying on transportation needs, um, when you're filling out that summer school registration form, make sure that you have a full class schedule. Um, just to recap again, your student does not have to take a full schedule um, if, if you have transportation available and you can just take band as your summer school class. And like I said, um, just to recap one more time, uh, my name is Katie Swank and I'm um, also the summer school coordinator for our band program here at WIS. So please email me any additional questions you may have. So what does band look like when you come to WIS next year? So we have a full band rehearsal every other day. And that band class um, can be, is gonna be swapped with something else typically. Typically it's PE. So you'll have band one day, the next day you'll have PE, the next day you'll have band, the next day you'll have PE and so on and so forth. In addition to that large band group where we meet all instruments at the same time, you'll have a chance to meet in a small group instruction, typically again with just like instruments. So like all the flutes or all the trumpets or all the percussionists. And you'll have one of those small group lessons once every six days. And that is 
typically pulled from the IE time during the day. There's also some home practice that we expect you to do, because that's the only way you're ever going to get better at your instrument, that you keep up on buying your own supplies. Like if you choose a woodwind instrument, you're going to have to buy reeds, and reeds break and wear out, so you're going to have to keep buying reeds as the year goes on. And then like Rob was so um, great in pointing out, you need to make sure to keep your instrument in playing position with repairs. And if you're renting, it's easy peasy. So just you can leave it here at school. Well, give it to Rob when he shows up. Easy peasy. We usually have three different concerts during the year. The first one is October 21st. The second one is January 27th. And the third one would be May 10th. And usually those start at 630. So here's a little overview of our music program. So small group instruction, like Mrs. Zinger said, with um, having those small lessons continues throughout middle school and into high school. And as the kids get older and they, you know, go into middle school and high school, they get more and more performing opportunities and special groups like jazz band, solo and ensemble contest, and marching band. In high school, they have ex even more opportunities like pep band, pit orchestra, and even outside of school music groups. So like the more you, your child's six was banned, the more windows and doors that are open and the, all these really cool possibilities. So just recapping tonight before we um, answer any questions, we talked about selecting an instrument. It's definitely a process, but that mouthpiece fitting is super crucial piece of that process. Um, remember, after you have your mouthpiece fitting, there'll be a final decision form with your summer school lesson time preference. So we take your preferences and that actually helps us make our summer teaching schedule. Uh, we're gonna be working on acquiring an instrument after we finalize our decisions. And if it works with your schedule and your time, summer lessons, we can actually get started, which is really, really cool. <laughs> And then band in the fall, because that's what band is really all about, getting together in your large ensemble groups and making beautiful, awesome music. So both Mrs. Zinger and I want to thank you so much for coming this evening. And now we'll graciously take some time to answer any questions in the Q&A that you may have about band. All right, let's get started. If a student wants to join band and knows they want to be a percussionist, does that student still need to have a mouthpiece fitting? That is a really great question. So um, I, I do like to encourage all students to try out a bunch of different instruments. And you never know, like a pair of shoes, right? You never know until you find that exact one that's gonna fit you the best. I always tell students, can't hurt to try out um, the instruments. Mrs. Zinger, do you have an opinion on that? Um, I kind of agree because where else are you gonna have a chance to buzz on a trombone mouthpiece also? Like, and you may be like, I totally wanna play percussion. I know because my brother played it and I love it. And it's the most amazing thing ever. And I totally agree, it probably is for you maybe, but you won't know until you try something else that you might find something for you that's even more amazing than you thought. So I'd highly recommend, if you have the time, just to give it a go. And then you could confirm, yep, want to be a percussionist. And that there's no harm in that either. Thank you so much for that question. How do you sign up for a summer school lesson? Great question, Bailey. Um, so on that April date, um, the registration is going to open up for all summer school classes. So right now, you're going to register for sixth grade summer band. So individual lesson times are not set because once we get your instrument choice finalization on that same form, we're going to ask you to rank in order the times that work best with your schedule. So you get to help us make the schedule. And then once we get that all sorted off with your number one or number two lesson day and time preferences, we'll um, communicate with that with you. Great question. 
Hey, Mrs. Swank, can we address Jacob's question? He put it in there twice because I think he thought that I didn't see it. He asked if there was a drum kit or a drum set and band, and I didn't forget you. I just want you to know. Um, and Mrs. Swank can interrupt me if she wants, but at the middle school, there are those options because that's when they start drum set in school is typically in jazz band. So that'd be a great opportunity to build those skills. But here at the intermediate school, we start on the mallets, like I said earlier, and then go to um, a snare drum. So you can get those skills and secure like your stick hold and your technique without all of the extra uh, stuff to play, <laughs> which is a lot of fun. So yes, just at a little bit later time. Thank you, Mrs. Zinger. Uh, question from Evan, who is going to teach summer school band lessons? Um, I'm gonna teach summer school band lessons as well as Mrs. Zinger. And we have a fabulous brass teacher coming in with us named Joe Hartson. So between the three of us, we're gonna cover all the different instruments and instrument grouping. Great question. A question from Mitch. Can you please offer how COVID safety works with band? Great question, Mitch. So we are continually evolving according to our health and safety guidelines. So for um, summer band, I know we are looking at having our um, classrooms outside to comply with the health and safety guidelines. We are also looking into um, aerosol studies since you, know, you do blow into the instruments. So we are using research to um, inform our decisions and guide our decisions into um, how we, we are conducting um, our procedures in class to make everything as safe as possible for students to be able to play their instruments. Um, with students coming back pretty soon, that's something that we are currently um, finalizing with our administrators. And um, once we get more finite details for you, we are currently looking into having slit masks where the mouthpieces can fit inside, as well as um, bags slash bell covers to help um, the airflow situation. So there's a lot of technology that has also been um, developed to help us kind of combat, um, you know, all the germs that we are trying to keep at bay right now. And I'm just going to piggyback on what Mrs. Swank said. Um, we currently are not playing in the building. That's not safe. Um, so all playing is outside the building, which is one of the reasons why the mouthpiece fittings are outside. And all playing is being done at a six foot distance, not this new three foot distance that we're going to have inside of our classrooms. So I want you to know that as well. And then the whole district, all of us band um, and choir folks also follow intimately all the aerosol research studies that several universities have started all the way back uh, last March. So every time we get an update with them, we talk to Public Health Madison Dane County and get their guidelines and then talk with uh, district administrators so that we are currently up to date on the latest practices that research is telling us is safe. Um, Mitch, did you have any other questions or did that answer? I'm willing if you have another one, you can throw it in the chat. Thanks so much. Thank you, Mrs. Zinger. All right, the Moore family has a question. Do students always get their instrument of choice? Great question. So with, with the fitting, we do um, like to work with families to steer you to an instrument that's gonna be the best fit. Um, we do give you recommendations. And um, for the most part, yeah, students normally do get their first or second choice of instrument. For sure. Mrs. Zinger, would you like to chime in? Um, so what's so cool about the fittings is that it helps us tell you how your mouth structure and your face structure is set up for an instrument that you might have a moderate instant success on. Does that mean that you have to choose the instrument that you will have a moderate instant success on? No. I've taught kids who haven't had success at the flute right away, but turned out to be some of my best flute players. But then it just lets you know, as the student and the parent, that your kid will have to put in extra time, at least at first, to make that instrument sound like it's supposed to. So as long as everyone's on board for that, Mrs. Swank and I would love to teach you the instrument that you just have your heart set on playing. That's the only one of the main reasons why we do instrument fitting so that we call out an agreement of what kind of work you'll have to do. 
Um, Mrs. Swank, I see that Bailey put in two questions. Can we answer those together at the same time, you think? I think we can, yeah. So let's kind of combine these questions. So when is the form date again? And when is the fitting? So the form for the music class selection went out um, Monday morning. So our form is due um, tomorrow, which is Friday, March 19th. So we would like our selection form to all be completed hopefully before spring break. Great question. And when is the fitting? Um, our tentative date, of course, with, um, with weather permitting being outside, is Wednesday, March 31st. So we're hoping Mother Nature cooperates with us and that we're able to have our fitting date. All right, another question from the Stotts family. Will there be any intensive week long or more band camps this summer? Like summer 2020, a oh, great question from the Stotts family. So this year we're hoping to have summer band lessons as normal as we can. I know 2020 was just such a weird year and we were blessed when we did have a four day, um, so every day in a row, Monday through Thursday, sort of band camp. Uh, we won't have that again this year with hopes of having our normal band lesson schedule twice a week. So overall, it's a win because your child will get more lessons and more time to get acquainted with that new instrument instead of just four days. All right, question from Mitch. Are summer practice sessions available with virtual summer school? All right, great question. Uh, Mitch, right now, I um, do not have in the catalog any virtual beginning band lessons. Um, however, I'm going to write your question down and ask um, my two coordinators in the summer school office as well. So the, the answer right now, though, is we do not have like a virtual clarinet or virtual flute lesson schedule. Um, I know things might be differently at different at the middle school or the high school, but for intermediate school right now in the summer school course catalog, um, there is no virtual um, lessons. If I could piggyback on that, Mitch, if you want to send a direct email to either me, Mrs. Zinger, or Mrs. Um, Swank with that question so it stays right in the top of our head, and if we are not able to offer that in, uh, that virtual, virtual option, we can also send you direct information about people who might be able to give you um, some lessons so that your student, when they start in the fall, won't be um, uh, feel like they're left Um, another question. I think there might be some miscommunication. I'm wondering if a student can take in school band and at home virtual summer school. Um, this is something that we're starting to talk to with our administration. We don't like, as of now, Mrs. Zinger can, can, um, can confirm or deny what I'm saying. <laughs> Cause you know how, how it's going, you know, with our, with our health mandates and everything. Um, as of right now, we, um, we are allowing to some extent for next fall, not right now immediately, that students may be able to come in for some classes if they are at home. Is that correct, Mrs. So, Singer? So here is the challenge with combining virtual instruction and in-person instruction, as has been explained to me. It's about the contact tracing. And we are, are trying really hard here at Wanakee Intermediate to keep contact within homerooms static so that we make sure that the kids aren't spreading their contact all over, which means that one kid could affect like the whole school, right? We're trying really hard and diligently to see what we can do to reduce that impact. So um i am not quite sure the answer to your question because summer school won't have homerooms in the same way we do at wis so again i now think we understand what you were asking as far as a transportation issue as long as you'd be willing to trans 
support your student back and forth. I think that that portion would be taken care of, but I would need to um, talk with our administration to make sure about that. So again, if you would just email us so that we have your email and file and we'll just get right on that so that we can get that answer defined for you. Thank you for clarifying, Mitch. Definitely, thank you for, yeah, thank you for that clarification. I know it's been a little tricky with the diff, uh, dual options. All right, this one comes from Nelson's. If we do the summer school band lessons outside, what will happen if the weather is not good? Awesome question. So obviously, like um, like we kind of did with our summer band camp this year, we had um, rooms set aside for if we needed to take students inside. So for example, we could still work on instrument stuff without blowing. Like how do we take care of our instrument? How do we put it together? How do we read notes? How do we read rhythms? So there are some non-playing activities that will still be very relevant and um, very, very useful for our students to acquire that knowledge. That doesn't in um, involve blowing and playing instruments indoors. So we just gotta be super flexible um, this summer, obviously, if we're underneath an overhang and it's only slightly drizzling and we're able to stay dry, um, we can stay out there as long as there's no severe or inclement weather. All great questions. Thanks so much. And if you come up with another question that you didn't throw in the chat now, please feel free to reach out to either of us through email. We would love to answer any questions that you have. I think they've asked them all, Mrs. Swink. I think they did too. I'm trying to like make sure that I didn't miss anything and anyone. Um, once again, my name is Katie Swank, and I'm one of the band teachers here at Wanaki Intermediate. And I'm Elizabeth Zinger, <laughs> the other band teacher extraordinaire at Wanaki Intermediate School. And we are so thankful that you spent your evening with us to learn more about band. We are super excited for your students to come and make music with us. Thank Have you good... all. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Zoom. <laughs> Thank you all for attending. And uh, once again, reach out. Please email us if you have any additional questions that maybe were not on your brain right now, but pop up later. Thanks. Have a good night. Thank you.